This is Kai Ninja News, or CNN for short, with your host, Kai Ninja. I have been going to school in person for a month with a mask on every day. And to be honest, I thought I would be vaccinated and maskless by now. But only kids 12 and up can get the vaccine. I have questions, lots of questions. And to answer them, I have searched for the best experts in kids' health, my pediatrician, Dr. Anna Mashalo, and her PA, Mrs. Dana. They are from the Center of the Periodic Me Medicine. This is my very first in-person interview. I hope you enjoy it. Spoiler alert, if you are not interested in wearing masks or don't like vaccines, this show is not for you. Not now, not ever, not just this episode, but all of them. No offense, so no need to send me your comments. So, Dr. Michelle, you know me since I was a baby. Thank goodness for HIPAA. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, doc, Dr. Michelle and Miss Dana, I'm going to tell you a few questions and that might be a little bit easy to answer, but some of them might be a little bit hard. So, Dr. Michelle, yes. have you treated kids with COVID-19? Yes, I have. How is COVID different than a flu and a common cold? Well, it's a great question, Kayo, because sometimes it's not that different. Sometimes COVID can look just like a cold with a runny nose, a little cough, and you're better in a day or two. Uh, sometimes it can be like the flu where you have body aches all over and you have a fever of 102 and it can last two or three days but I've seen it last up to two weeks the difference is the potential that COVID has for every once in a while making a child or a grown-up really sick with a lot of trouble breathing and oxygen needs and things like that so that's really the difference. Okay. Okay, that's a good point. Miss mm -hmm. okay. Dana, how good is the science on the COVID-19 vaccine for kids? The science coming out is very good, but any science that's devoted to COVID-19 right now is good. However, the science on the vaccine for kids under 12, is that the question? Right, mm -hmm. little kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are conducting many trials right now with different doses of the vaccine for that age group, and the FDA is looking very closely at all the trials. So, Dr. Michelle, yes. in your opinion, should kids get the vaccine? Absolutely. Mm. Yes, good point. Coronavirus is not is not happy this year. That's happy. right. That's right. And Miss Dana, for kids like me that hate getting shots, any tips for us to deal with it? Oh, Caillou, do you know what I think is best? Is having a mommy like yours who brings you in and cheers you on every time. You, know? you remember when you were younger and she says, be a ninja who's so strong and brave, who can do hard things? Mm -hmm. I remember that's how she coached you through every one. Having a good team is how you get through vaccines. And I have one thing to say. Tell me, darling. My mom says that she's gonna let me buy one video game per dose. Oh. <laughs> Talk about a good well, You'll one. have to tell me which one so we can play together. Well, I think I'm thinking Super Mario Odyssey and, mm. and Pokemon Unite. But I'm still working on it. You're on. All right. Dr. Michelle, what can kids do to help stop the spread of COVID-19 and our mask here to stay? Mm. Well, I think that masks are going to need to be here until children are vaccinated because that's what's going to, to stop the spread. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, I think that whenever you are inside with people that are not in your family, children will need to wear masks. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, 
That's another reason to want to get the vaccine so that it will be uh, sooner that mm -hmm. we're going to be able to stop wearing masks. I'm not sure when that's going to be. It depends on how many people get the vaccine, so how quickly we can get rid of this. Okay. And, and do you have a, and the last question, mm -hmm. do you have a special message for kids and parents about the pandemic who might be watching this episode? Well, I would like children to try to remember to look for for the positive things that have happened, the special times they've spent with their families at home when they may not have had those kinds of times before. Um, to remember to look for the helpers that have tried to make this better for them and for everyone. Um, and just keep positive about getting back to where we were before. It will come very soon. And Ms. Dana. I will say that for kids and parents, right? Mm -hmm. That to continue to be kind to each other, even when we are all feeling stressed and tired. Thanks, Dr. Michelle and Ms. Dana. I hope to only see you again in my yearly physical. Keep buying the good fight. So see you soon while we drop the next episode. Meanwhile, don't forget to hit on my channel on YouTube to help me reach a gazillion subscribers on www.youtube.com slash Caillou Ninja. Have a great one, everyone. Stay safe, wear a mask, and get your vaccine on! Go!